Hi guys, today we're going to make friendship bracelets and to do that we need embroidery floss in four colours and some measuring tape. We start off by measuring up one piece of embroidery floss at 175 centimetres or 70 inches. So 175 centimetres or 70 inches. When you have your one piece you can use that to size up your other three pieces of embroidery floss and that way you make sure they're all the same size. So I'm just going to measure up my pink embroidery floss here. I've already got my blue and orange. And when you have all your pieces of embroidery floss, you size them up at the end to make sure they match. And you tie a knot in the middle at the top. Well, that sort of becomes the top. It's the middle and then that becomes the top part. And then you get some sticky tape to stick it somewhere. Um, or if you're lazy and you're sitting in front of the couch, you could use a safety pin and sort of pin it to a pillow or maybe even the top of your jeans. Now we are going to spread out our embroidery floss and I am going to spread it out as follow. Pink, white, blue, orange orange blue white pink you have to make sure that your left side and your right side matches now in making friendship bracelets basically it's just knotting um you start on the left side you take your pink embroidery floss and you shape a four make sure it looks like a four shape there you go see on that pink on the white looks a bit like a four you pull your thread through and there's your first knot and then you have to do that same strand again so you just lay it out make sure it's a four shape pull it through and there's your second knot then you take your pink color and you do the same thing uh, with the blue and the orange so make a four pull it through and knot, make a four shape, pull it through, knot, make a four shape. I hope you see what I mean with the four. And pull it through and knot. And then you leave your pink in the middle. And then you start at the right side. <clears throat> with the pink floss on the outer side and instead of making fours we're making back to front fours so or maybe even a P so just see what's easier for you to remember so back to front four or a P loop it through and make a knot back to front four pull it through make a knot now this is why it's important to clearly spread out your work because you don't want to knot the wrong colors because then it becomes all a big jumbled mess especially at the beginning it's a bit fidgety but if, if you've done a few um, rounds then you start to see the shape and it does become become easier This floss is everywhere. So our orange back to front four, pull it through, make a knot, back to front four, pull it through, make a knot. Now then we have two pink strands in the center and we have to knot those two together. So first we're going to do the back to front four 
pull that through. Make a knot. And then we're going to make a regular four shape. Pull that through. Pull it tight. And that's your first round. And then you can start uh, doing the same thing. Uh, and you're always using the outer color. So for this instance, the next color is white. And then after white comes blue, I think. No, orange. No, blue. <laughs> it's going to be frustrating if it's like not lying still, not doing what you want it to do. So we're taking our white, making a four shape, pulling it through and making a knot, putting it through and making a knot. Next color is orange, making a four shape, putting it through, making a four shape, pulling it through, then the pink. I'm just going to speed it up a bit. Um, because basically it's the same thing all the way to the end. You just keep on tying knots um, on the left side in a four shape, on the right side in a um, back to front four or a P shape. Doesn't really matter. Um, and then when you get to the middle, the two colors, you first make a P shape knot and then one uh, four shape knot. And then when you've done that, you leave those and then you go back to the outside and take the out outermost color. And when you're done, you have your friendship bracelet. This is a different one because <laughs> it does take a bit to finish the whole bracelet. When you get to the end, when you think, okay, I've done enough now, this will actually cover my arm. You can tie two knots and sort of braid the ends and tie those in two knots. And then you have two sort of loose ends that you can use to tie the bracelet to your arm like this and you just use the loop at the top that you used to tie it with uh, or stick it down with sticky tape and um, these are all different friendship bracelets I've made so they're really fun to make good to hand out to friends and uh, really summery